Hey, I'm Michelle. I'm a trainer here at Pura Vida, and what I'm my fitness tip of the day or of the week is is about Christmas. We're a week out from Christmas, and there's a little stress going on usually. But what I'm trying to do is um, give you a couple tips to help spread Christmas cheer in your in every day. Um, Brennan Manning says, "In every encounter, we either give life or we drain it. There is no neutral exchange." So think about that as you go through your day. So it might be a, full, a season full of spirit, but it can also be a draining season as well for some people, for you or for your loved ones or friends or even a chance encounter. So as you go through your day, some things that you can do to uplift and, and make a difference in somebody else's life and your own is, one, take the time to do a handwritten card or letter. I mean, it could be your Christmas card. It could just be a quick note. It could be to a coworker, to a co-classmate, just to say something special or something nice. And um, it will not only uplift your day, but it will uplift theirs as well. You know, reconnect with an old friend, either through, you know, some social media or Skype or through that sending the letter. Um, buy a coffee for a stranger, pass it on, pay it forward. Smile or joke with a cashier. You know, their days are long too, and they see plenty of people who are stressed and, and weary, and it drains on them, so you be that uplifting person. Um, if you're able to, do something special for a neighbor out of the blue, like buy movie tickets, or leave an extra tip at, at a restaurant, or bake a healthy treat and share that. Um, Another thing you can do is, when you're out and about, talk, talk to your friends, listen to their stories. No matter what their cultural background or religious background or whatever their belief system is, ask them what Christmas means to them. Everybody wants to talk about, or, you know, tell their story, and, and then you learn something and you can gain something from your own story as well. Help someone out. Right now you can't really shovel somebody's walk, but, you know, you could do that. You could help, um, lit, you know, bring in groceries if you see them uh, as your neighbor, as you would pull up to the uh, in the driveway or just stop and chat with a neighbor you do that in the summer a lot but in the winter it, it, it drains on you you're not outside as much because of the cold so take that extra moment something that you can do to uplift yourself sing along with with any song it could be in the car it could be in the shower it could be in the store you know it just is an uplifting experience and the the last little tip I'm going to give you is the most important one Take a moment for yourself. That could be to go exercise. It could be just to think, you know, in silence, to meditate, to stretch. But take that moment to rejuvenate each day, and then you'll have enough to give out as well. So I hope you have a great holiday season, and I um, hope to see you in the new year. Thanks. Bye.